Hey guys, it's Brendan the Paleo Dude, and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Ferocious Pack Velociraptor Blue and the Morris Intrepidus. I recently found these guys at Toys R Us here in Canada, and holy cow, I was not expecting to see them. You can see on the back, there's the uh, Pterosaur, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that right now, and the uh, Stegosaur Miragaya. Those ones are so cool, it's kind of bummed that I couldn't find them, but I'm glad to have Morris in hand. Uh, Blue's looking a lot better from the promo images. I was expecting it to look way cheaper, but this is actually really nice in comparison to like the older figures we got back in the day. You can see it's a step up. The colors there, the paint's really nice. They highlighted the blue on her. Um, I don't know, it, it looked cheap from the promo images, but the quality of the sculpt has also improved detail-wise. Um, and of course, you've got the head pose ability as well. So yeah, no, a lot better, actually. Um, I'm loving it. The tail's a little lackluster, though. Like, it, it looks thin and scrawny. It very rat-like. Um, but let's get these out of the package now. I do like the open concept they've got going on. Um, sure, this may result in scuffing and other stuff, but hey, it reduces the amount of plastic, and um, it just you know, this amount of plastic instead of over top. I'm not sure if that's how much uh, that's reducing it, but still better than nothing, right? Um, so we got those out of the package. The packages are really neat. You can see there's a helicopter on there. We got um, some pine, it's at night. We got Rexy full render, looking really spectacular on that. And the back talks about the fax app. Um, so blue, we'll grab the scan code for blue. Um, it's quite smaller than the other dinosaur scan codes. For some reason, I had, um, <laughs> the thought that they would all be the same size scan code, but, uh, no, I'm glad that they're small and they fit. Um, the scan codes don't really bother, bother me too much. Um, a lot of fans seem to not like them, but, like, it's the same equivalent of having, like, the action button on the back of the figure or whatever, right? Um, so it's not that big of a deal for me. Grab the Morris scan code as well. So, Morris Intrepidus, it's very colorful. Like, very, very colorful. Um, in the Dominion Prologue, it had, like, browns and blues. Here we've got this interesting shade of turquoise, um, this orange stripe running down the back, and it actually transitions fully into the tail being completely orange, except for this little bit on the top here, which they painted to kind of flow with the back. Um, it's not that noticeable on camera, but in person it definitely is. It's not that big of a deal though, like, you're not gonna be <laughs> staring down the, the base of the tail on this figure. What I do love the most though is this poseability on the neck. That ball joint is really nice, you can have it looking up. Um, here we can zoom in actually. So we can have it looking up at a larger dinosaur. Um, can have it looking down, drinking water, maybe it sees something small in the ground, maybe it's stepping on something. Um, the neck has a full range looking to the side, and the eye is really nice. They even painted the pupil on this figure, which in the past it would be hit or miss on whether these uh, dinosaurs had the pupils painted black or just left open for the same color as the head. It's got this like double mohawk of feathers going down the head, Makes it look kind of funky. Um, again, nothing like the Morris we saw in the prologue. The teeth are really big too, um, and they overlap the bottom jaw, which is really nice. It gives it a unique feature compared to other theropods in the lineup. Um, it looks kind of like Allosaurus. I'm pretty sure it's a uh, relative of Tyrannosaurus though. Um, you can see the paint's already starting to wear every time I go up and down with the neck, um, it's rubbing on this, so don't expect that to last long if you're using the figure for uh, action shots or play. Um, so I'd suggest getting two of this one. It's pretty cheap here in Canada, it's only like 12 bucks, and I'm pretty sure in the States it's like seven or eight. Um, the arms are this solid white, they're kind of pasty. Um, they match the same color as the bottom jaw. You can even see there's some interesting um, scales, maybe even feathers, no, these are scales, I think, going down on the um, back of the bottom jaw. You can see a really nice uh, uh, application of this print of yellow, even some white around the eyes, 
which is, oh wow, and it's totally different on this side too, uh, which is not seen throughout the body, it's just on the head, which is really nice, that's pretty cool. Um, so we got orange, white, and then this kind of um, uh, milky white, creamy white, there we go. Um, and you can see that twin feather row continues down the back, it kind of spikes up more around the hips, and then it gets really tall at um, after the base of the tail and then kind of tapers down. They don't meet up, they continue individually to almost the tip of the tail and the tip's pretty smooth. Doesn't seem like there's any scale pattern on the tip of the tail, which is pretty odd. Um, but you can see the pattern's really nice down here. Um, you can see this ridge going down below. Um, the feet are pretty standard for like a little theropod. Nothing unique about them, they don't have like a raptor claw or anything. Um, and it's pretty interesting, they put a lot of detail into like the, uh, what is this, ankle? Ankle right here? It's a lot of uh, uh, movement of the skin there. Uh, it's kind of got like a small reptile skin vibe to it with little spots, kind of like a, um, I don't know, Komodo dragon or something. Um, and this scan code thing's hidden pretty well in that double uh, line of feathers. Now for blue, uh-oh, looks like the leg's a bit gimped. That's okay. We'll, um, we'll stand it up using its tail, I guess. Or not. Um, shoot. Here, I'll do the old um, bootlegged stance. So blue also seems to have a little bit of trouble standing up. Um, these figures seem to be warped quite easily in this new packaging, which kind of sucks. Oh, there we go. Got blue to stand. Um, so yeah, the tail's pretty tiny. It's like too thin, in my opinion. Uh, they have it curved to save space in the package. You can rotate the tail. Um, pretty neat, odd detail. Um, both sides, of course, have that white highlighting the blue. The arms are a lot larger. They remind me of a battle damage blue figure. They're curved down like the typical raptor. Um, a little bit, a light airbrush um, of this tan on the stomach. And then the typical pattern that blue has for her skin. It's all like kind of elephant-like. Um, a lot of different lines and grooves going on there. Um, the back of the head, of course, has the typical uh, little dots on it, those little um, nodes, <laughs> or whatever you want to call them, They're, that are only on the head. They don't continue down the back or anything like that. Um, tail continues to have that elephant-like skin, and when you open the mouth, you can see it's very similar to all the battle damage blues that we've gotten in the past. They've done a nice job on the eye paint, um, it seems like my figure's eye isn't fully lined up with that, but I bought it from this angle, so I didn't, it was the only one, so I, I, I couldn't be choosy, right? Um, and yeah, they painted the tongue, they painted the teeth, the gums, or not the gums, whatever those are, the muscles in the back. It looks pretty nice. If you ignore the tail, this is a really decent blue figure, and I'm pretty sure it's um, coming in one or two other sets as well, um, but together they are great. I'm pretty sure Morris is supposed to be way smaller than that as well, but it's neat to see it in this figure assortment. It would have been cool to do as like a mini, like the Lystrosaurus, but maybe in the future we will be getting it as a mini, who knows. <laughs> so there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know down in the comments if you were able to score these two at your toy hunts if you've been out. And if not, if you'd like to get your hands on these two, because they are quite cool, especially Morris. Um, so yeah, no, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.